Hey everyone, it's Nick Carranza again. And what we wanted to talk about today is one of the most common questions that we get asked. And really it's about investments. But it's not just about investments, it's about timing. And you know, is now the right time that you know you should be investing? And is real estate something you want to invest in? You know, there's really a simple, basic principle that it comes down to um, to answer this question. And what it revolves around is this. Hopefully, you can read my my, my writing here. So it's cash flow producing investments. That really changes the investment landscape because now you're owning an asset, which would be this investment here, that's producing cash flow for you every month. So which is a positive cash flow, which can be looked at as income. So now you, you, you continue to hold on this asset and it keeps contributing to the amount of income you bring in every month. So you know, to give you an example, if I was to buy a house today and the value was right here, you know, that's great that the value is there and the values can fluctuate. You know, there, it can go up a little bit and it can go down, right? And it can go back up, you know, all over the place. So I'm not too concerned about the value of this piece of property that I own if it's producing me cash flow. So if my plan is to accumulate assets that, to increase my net worth and my wealth, well then a, a cash flow producing investment is never a bad thing, right? Because you will still continue, someone else will be paying off this asset for you. And to give you an example, of how this is used elsewhere. Warren Buffett, who we all know is one of the most successful investors in the world, he may, you know, he invests a little bit differently than the standard stock investor because he gets different shares that, that give him um, income as well. So if Warren Buffett, now he invests a little bit different amount of money, but it could be five billion dollars. And if Warren is looking for a return, when he invests, he looks to invest for cash flow as well. So if he gets 10% of his money, what he's bringing back is 500 million. So that's his return on his money. And what he's looking to do is take this money and now reinvest it into his company, Berkshire Hathaway, to continue to acquire income producing or cash flow producing assets. So when it comes to investing, it's not always about timing the market, cash flow can be king. Thanks.